Hi Scorpio, welcome to your 2021 What's to Come reading, where we are going to focus on the predictions that are coming towards you in 2021. As you can see, I've already gotten cards out here because your video wanted to basically stop, okay, recording when I was uh, when I started this, this is the second time I'm trying to record this video, Scorpio. So remember that the messages are general and they may not be for every Scorpio out there. And remember that time is fluid. It moves like water. It could be past, present, or future energy. So be sure to go with what you know, okay? But it's crazy to me because, like, and I wasn't, I wasn't going to redo it. I wasn't going to redo it because I had already tried to redo it. And I don't know why some of these readings just don't want to be seen. But, okay, so let's go over this. Your overall energy for January came out as the temptation card, which we, ooh, which is number 15, which we all know is the card, like the devil card, okay? So you could be dealing with a Capricorn, but there is something that is gonna be tempting you in January. And number 16, disruption is at the bottom of the deck, so Scorpio. What I was basically explaining in the first video is that there's something that is going to happen um, because the disruption card is like the tower card. There's something that's pretty much going to be happening in January that may um, try to disrupt your life, period, point blank. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. And it's gonna be a temptation. And the energy that I was feeling was that this is somebody from your past. I cannot deny it, okay? Can't hide it. Basically, it just feels like you're going to be tempted into making a decision about the past or the future. And that's really what I'm feeling. I feel like you're going to be torn. You're going to be split because this person's body is split in all these different directions, fragmented. But I really feel like it's going to be something that is going to shock you because of this disruption card. Okay. So the temptation card says through this card. And then before I read this shit. I was channeling the song and I almost forgot. Y'all remember that song, the KCX, where she was like, it's after midnight and she's on your phone saying come over cause she's all alone. I could tell it was your ex by your tone. Why is she calling now after so long? Now, what is it that she want? Boy, do, 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 do. You get what I'm saying? <coughs> Boy, I had to clear my throat. God dang. So I feel like it's someone. That's literally the song I was hearing in my head before I even like turned on the camera, bro. I was shuffling the car. So I just feel like, Scorpio, someone is going to be contacting you from your past. It's going to be after midnight. It's going to be like in the wee hours of the fucking morning. Possibly, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like it's gonna be something like that. Like they're gonna send you a text message. They're gonna call you after a really long time of like not saying shit. And it's gonna cause a disruption. It's gonna fuck up your mind. It's gonna fuck with your mind. And that's what I genuinely feel. I also feel like they're gonna wanna come over. They're gonna wanna see you. They're gonna wanna visit you, okay? They're gonna be wanting to tell you how they miss you, how lonely they are without you, Scorpio. Like, I cannot hide or change how I'm feeling right now. And I just feel like it's something that you're going to, I feel like it's something that you want, but it's also something that you feel like is really toxic with this temptation card, or it's a temptation because you know, like, where this is going to go already. And you're going to be like, I feel like you're going to be like, well, what you want? You get what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you, what is it that you need? How can I help you? Okay, like, you was MIA all this time. So what is it that you really want from me? Like, I feel like they're going to be telling you, oh, I see you doing good. Like, some shit like that. Because the girl's like, you know, did she hear about the brand new bins that you just bought for me? And I feel like they're going to be like, oh, yeah, I see you doing good. Or... You might be like, oh, now you coming back because you see me doing good. I feel like that's kind of how the conversation is going to go. 
And this, I feel like it's somebody who may have betrayed you or they may have tricked off on you because the girl was talking about she turned trick when y'all broke up in 96. Y'all could both be born in the 90s. Y'all could have met each other in the 90s. Hell. But I feel like this person is about to come back to tempt you. So I had to get that channel message out. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you have not done so already, okay? And thank you to all of you who are already subscribed to my channel. I love y'all so much. But it says, through this card, addictions and self-limiting behaviors are being addressed, right? All of this I said already on the other reading, and literally it got deleted off my phone. So I feel like this person doesn't want you to know that they're coming back, or they don't want you to know that they miss you. It's like they want to be like this phantom. It's like, I feel like you're just not going to expect this, but okay. This is a time when you are someone, you or someone else in your life may be placing too much emphasis on material, on the material world and its pleasures, the material physical world and its pleasures. Even though we are all born connected to the divine source, we have a tendency to pull away from what was once natural. When we become disconnected from spirit, the source that once nourished us, it, it's often replaced with a different supply or substitute. In other words, the connection is then forged with food, alcohol, nicotine, codependency to someone or even codependency to work. Hence the term workaholic. Many of us spend our lives trying to fill the void that was created when the link to the divine was broken. The temptation card, oh, excuse me, I had a burp. Mm is calling you to take a hard look at life and ask yourself, okay, where in my life am I suffering from addictive behavior? Is there a negative thinking or behavior that's causing the life force to seep out of my soul? Are the people and relationships in my life giving me energy or are they draining it? Learn to embrace your fears and all of your doubts so that every situation in your life becomes a learning experience. Gaining the knowledge that the physical world teaches will help you transcend to a higher spiritual awareness. And this is the devil card. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn, but I just get this energy of someone who you know is toxic or someone who you know tempts your spirit is going to be coming back into your energy in January. And I'm just being honest. So we pulled the romance angels to see what's coming towards you in January for love. And we got the soulmate card first. So, yes, this is your soulmate. So, this is somebody who I feel like there's someone who's going to be in your energy where you're going to be thinking that this was your soulmate in the past or you think that they're your soulmate now, okay? But then we also had codependency. That's why I feel like this soulmate card is someone who you envision to be your soulmate in the past just because of this codependency card corresponding with this temptation card. It's someone who you had an unhealthy attachment with or a codependency to, or they might have had a codependency to you. But it says addictions are affecting your romantic life. And it also talks about addictions to the point where I feel like, honestly, I feel like both of you guys have some type of addiction or something that you turn to, to like take your mind off of this person. Like to get this person out of your mind, maybe you smoke, you drink, you know what I'm saying? Like, Maybe you have thrown yourself into work and you're just like not really paying attention to anybody. You may not even be paying attention closely to your own health. Okay. And then we had a heart to heart conversation that came out. It says, honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So that's why I feel like they're going to be reaching out, wanting to talk to you and tell you how they miss you, tell you how you make them feel. Okay. So then we got the sign cards because i wanted to see what signs may be coming into your energy so first neptune came out which neptune is pisces energy i believe yep it says pisces so it could be a pisces a fire sign aries leo sagittarius they could have their neptune sign and a fire sign or their neptune could be pisces and their sun sign could be fire and then we also got cancer so you know, however that correlates, whether it's a a, um, a Neptune in fire or Neptune in cancer, Neptune in Pisces, or like a cancer sun, fire, Neptune, fire, moon, something like that. That's what came out, okay? 
So the next item on the agenda is the scoop deck. Okay, y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. But let's see what's coming towards you. Guardian Angels, what is coming towards my Scorpios in the month of January 2021? Let's see. What is coming towards my Scorpios in January 2021? I really appreciate y'all, Scorpio, because y'all are the truth. Ride or die. Y'all support me for sure. And I really, really appreciate it. Don't think it goes unnoticed. Because I notice it. Guardian Angels, what's coming towards my Scorpios January 2021? What type of energy? <gasps> Wow, seeing through the fog bound. Can I get one more? Wow. And before in the other video, that's where the video cut off. The, the, the video actually cut off after Neptune because Neptune came out first, then fire, then cancer. Maybe it's a Pisces that doesn't want you to know that they're coming back around because that's when it cut off. Whoever it is, you're, a conversation is coming to you and it's going to be with somebody who you felt like or feel like is your soulmate and someone who you feel very attached to. So the first card out is seeing through the fog, okay? I think that Sag got this. It says your vision is getting clearer. So you're start, I feel like you're starting to realize who you are, Scorpio, who this person may be to you or what reason, what lesson they were here for in your life, what reason they were here for in your life. And then we have the bound card. So feeling bound to a current situation. The card was dirty, damn. So yeah, you're seeing through the fog. I feel like you're unbinding yourself from these codependent attachments. I feel like that's really what you're going to be working on in January, Scorpio. It's really just spiritually, physically, emotionally separating yourself from these negative attachments and putting yourself in a position where you can have clarity, okay? Cash flows, the last card, it says a large lump sum of money. Scorpio, yes, boo. So make sure that one of your codependent traits is not being bound to money. That's also a message I'm getting. Don't just let the money make you, you make the money. Like I just heard that in my head. And I feel like, you know, don't sacrifice your clarity just because you want money. But I do see money coming towards you. What's at the bottom? Ooh, caught up. Someone is, someone's actions are catching up to them. And at the back projection wow your life is a projection of the energy you're putting out so i really feel like in january scorpio you just need to be careful of how you're coming off what energy you're putting off because even if you see yourself in a certain way people people's perspectives of you may be skewed and that's not your responsibility entirely i, I definitely feel like people are going to feel how they're going to feel regardless but just be careful of the things that you say or do because there are times, you know, sometimes when we don't realize how we can offend people or maybe be insensitive. But I feel like someone's actions are catching up to them in terms of this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. It's like someone can't keep themselves from talking to you or I feel like everything, because you're seeing through the fog and trying to release this energy of being codependent or bound to situations that don't serve you i feel like this could also be something positive for you even though it looks negative like somebody's getting caught cheating somebody could get caught cheating i'm gonna just be honest but because it's like a girl laying in the bed on the card or just somebody could get caught up doing something they're not supposed to do maybe a bad habit is going to catch up to someone but i also feel like if you've been putting good energy out there because the projection is at the back saying that your life is a projection of the energy you're putting out. So if you're putting out good energy, I feel like you're about to get good energy back. That's about to catch up to you. But if you're putting out negative energy, that's about to catch up to you too. I also feel like y'all could be doing something in the film industry or some type of production. But I also feel like you guys are feeling 
the feelings of someone else. Like this caught up, this caught up card could be in regards to the person who is tempting you or codependent to you in your energy. And they're getting caught up in something and projecting that energy on you because you are on their mind. Feel me? Okay. So, Scorpio. Let me use these. We're going to see what the beginning, middle, and end of January is going to be like for you. Lady Angel, Father God, thank you for your messages. Can you please help show me what Scorpio's month of January 2021 will be like? Wow. I just split the deck. Look at this. So... You're tired of waiting on this Capricorn or I feel like you're tired of putting in work with people who are toxic or people who you feel like bring toxicity to your life, Scorpio. Wow, break that message. Yeah. It's like you it's like this I feel like someone who you put in a lot of time and energy into is still like trying to invade your energy in January. Like shit is wild that the whole like 10 minutes, first 10 minutes of the video just got deleted. Okay, so Guardian Angels, what is the beginning of January 2021 going to be like for Scorpio? Wow, yes, Empress Energy. So at first, the first thing I heard was that y'all are in control, okay, with this Empress energy. You could be meeting a Le uh, Le damn, said Leo, so maybe a Leo, but maybe a Libra as well, okay? I also feel like you guys could be spending time with your mothers, okay, in the beginning of the month. Or you could be mothers. Some of y'all could be having a baby, or you could have just recently had a baby in December, Hey, Gabe. Good morning. It's okay. Hey, come here. Come here. Hold on, Scorpio. Sorry. My baby just woke up. Are you okay, Katie? You want to show me your Yeah. Okay, go by you. I'll give you, I'll give you some, okay? Who's up? Jeremiah and Crit. Your brother's sleeping? They still sleeping? Jeremiah and Crit. Oh, Scorpio. This is crazy. Scorpio, I feel like somebody's trying to interrupt your life. I got to take care of my kids, though, so hold on. Hold on. I'm so freaking sorry. Y'all can fast forward through this because I know this is some bullshit. But, like, just by this happening, y'all know... Y'all know that I see, I see these situations as like omens. I see these situations as like a catalyst or an indication of whatever I'm talking about in the reading. So I really just feel like every time I sit down to try to do y'all's video, some bullshit pops off and I can't finish it. And I feel like it's irritating. And I feel like you guys in January, whenever this person pops up, I feel like they're going to be irritating the fuck out of you. Or it's just going to irritate you seeing their name on your phone or seeing their number pop up. And I feel like they may be trying to disrupt your life. I'm going to be honest with you. They may be trying to take you off your, off your game or off balance. Because this shit is really irking me. Like, everybody was asleep and calm and nobody had nothing that they wanted. I was good doing my work. Look at this. And, and then, I mean, my son is not bothering me. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm just like, I keep getting interrupted. So that's like a sign. Here, Gabe. Here, baby. When you're done, get up, okay? Oh. <sighs> Okay, Scorpio, I'm back. I hope y'all... <laughs> that was some craziness. Okay, so... I do feel like you guys could have possibly had a baby recently, some of you, but... 
or you could just be mothers in general. You could be spending time with your kids a lot more in the beginning of the month of January, or you could be spending time with your mother, okay? What's the middle of the month like for Scorpio? Okay, did something else flip over? I'm tripping. Okay, so the Ten of Wands, that's what I'm saying. I feel like this person is going to reach out to you towards the middle of the month, like around the 10th to the 16th or 17th, something like that. But you got the Ten of Wands here. So I feel like in the middle of the month, you're going to be feeling this burden, okay? Like, I feel like you feel really powerful at the beginning of the month, but then you start to feel burdened or it's like you feel like there's something that you need to still release here. I feel like maybe there's something that you're doing, like a project or your business that's becoming burdensome, Scorpio, or it's becoming hard for you to do everything by yourself. I feel like also in your family life, because we have the Empress card here, I feel like you guys are parents. I know I said mother earlier, but you could also be a father. There's no gender. It's just the card. But I feel like as parents, you guys may be feeling a little taxed towards the middle of the month. But I also feel like something else could be bringing this burden to your life, like this person trying to reach out and talk to you. And I just feel like you're not hearing it. What's the end of the month of January 2021 for Scorpio? Okay. Yeah. Page of Cups. See? I feel like this person could reach out anywhere from the 10th of the month to the end of January. Because you got this Page of Cups. And I feel like this is at the end of the month, someone coming towards you to try to make it right, to try to be friends, to try to talk, to, yeah, to heal this to heal this fighting that you guys are going through. The Five of Swords was at the back and the Star card was at the bottom. So it could be an Aquarius, okay? But I feel like overall, they're coming to try to have a conversation with you with this Page of Cups. Someone who wants to explore their feelings or be friends with you, tell you how they feel. And this motherfucker, just, I, I feel like they're gonna wanna just, you know, say, hey, Let's talk about this or let's try to fix this. Like they're going to try to fix this with you. But I feel like if they don't show up in the middle of the month, you're going to feel their energy. And I feel like you're going to start feeling burdened because you never really understand how much people affect your energy until they're gone from your energy. And then when you feel that again, it's like, you know, that motherfucker is coming. And that's how I feel like you're going to feel Scorpio. And you're just going to feel like it's just too much for you to bear because I feel like you knew that this situation was really solely based on what effort you put in. Like everything was on your back, Scorpio. Everything was your responsibility. Ooh, shit. See, that's what I'm feeling. Ooh, shit. Break deck. See what I'm saying? And I'm just like, you. I, I just feel like you're just going to be like, what do you need? How can I fucking help you, bro? Like, that's what you're going to be saying. Oh, my God. Because you just don't want, like, like you're going to be like, I ain't got time today. I just heard that song. What was that song? She was like, I ain't got time today. Was that Tink? Yeah. Something like that. What's the Empress in the beginning of the month for my Scorpios? What's the Empress about? Yeah, the Six of Cups. I do. I see you spending time with your children. I see you. I also see you guys really taking control of like finding your soulmate, like not trying to control the situation, but being relaxed, being calm, cool and collected. Like, believing that your soulmate is going to come and, like, really saying, like, hey, I know I'm not going to be alone. It's just right now I have to run shit, but at some point I know I'm going to be with somebody. But I really see you spending time with your kids, okay? See, this Ten of Wands energy is here again. So I feel like, ooh, Lord, and the devil at the back, Jesus Christ. So this person could be like an ex-wife, ex-husband, baby mama, baby daddy, common law. Y'all know the drill. 
Hell, they could pop up at the beginning of the month. Shit. Okay, let's see what the fuck. But I also see you guys spending time with your parents or your mother. And spending time with your kids if you have them. What's the Six of Cups? Matter of fact, hold on. Sorry, spirit. I need one more for the Empress. Yeah. What's one more for the Empress, please? Seven of Cups and Justice. More Libra energy. So this person could definitely be a Libra. I feel like you're going to have to make a decision or a decision is being brought to you. And you're confused about which choice is going to bring you justice. Oh, my God. Wow. And you're really angry about it, though, too. Scorpio, you are not in the mood. I feel like with the magician at the back of the deck and the knight of swords at the bottom, it's like when you think of this person, it manifests anger within you. And I also feel like you really prayed and maybe even did like a cord cutting ritual or some type of spell work to move on or get away from this person to get them out of your energy. But it's like, I feel like in the beginning of the month, like this, I can't hide the fact that this is what I feel with the six of cups and the seven of cups. I feel like you may have a few options to choose from and you may have one person that you feel like from your past, you have good memories of. But also, you know, you feel like you're not sure if they're the right choice for you. You're not sure if choosing them is going to bring you, ju bring you justice. That's what I feel with this Six of Cups, Seven of Cups justice. I feel like there's a decision you need to make. And, you, and all you're going to be thinking about is what is the right thing to do here? Because I don't fucking know. But I feel like you're going to take control of this with this Empress card. And you're going to make that decision. But there's confusion here. Okay, so what's the Six of Cups? Yeah, see the Five of Wands. Whoever this person is, they're from your past. And they you fought with them a lot. Okay, what's the Seven of Cups? Yeah, you're not sure if you need to continue to hold back with the Four of Pentacles. And you're going to be, I feel like you're going to be torn, Scorpio. You're going to be torn. This person caused a lot of drama in your life. I feel like this person argued with you about how much they were holding back. Every time you brought it up about them not opening up to you and being confusing in this relationship, it's like they fought with you or argued with you or tried to like tell you that you were tripping and... It's like you just want to be treated fairly with this justice card. And even though you love this person, it's like you just don't know if you should. I feel like you don't know if you should hold back or you should give them a chance. OK, yeah. See, six of wands at the bottom, nine of wands at the back. I feel like you're nervous that this person is going to just be coming back to seek attention. I feel like you're also nervous of whether or not you take them back if it'll be successful or not. It's like you're guarded against that. You're trying to prevent yourself from being the victim of an attention whore or somebody who just wants to be the center of attention, somebody who just wants your attention because you're not giving it to them. What's the justice card? And all you want to do is be treated fairly. Oh my God. And see, I said Leo by accident. Look at the sun card popping out. So you got two Libra energies here. Somebody who's got strong Libra in their chart or, or Leo in their chart. And I feel like it's clarifying this justice card because it's like, you want to make the right decision, Scorpio, because you don't want to be unhappy. At one point, this person made you happy, but I feel that you are deciding now that holding back may be the better option because... You don't want to be upset. Like, you don't want to be unhappy. Why is the sun in reverse? What's the sun reverse? The chariot, cancer energy. 
Yeah, and I feel like you're sad too. I feel like, Scorpio, y'all can tell me all day that you don't want to deal with this motherfucker. Fuck them. Look, I get it, right? I've had people do me wrong and I've said fuck them too. But what I'm saying is you can't deny the fact with this six of cups upright that you have good memories of this individual, okay? The sun card in reverse means that you were happy at one point with this person, but I feel like it's reversed because the fact that they upset you so much in the past or they did not treat you fairly has caused you to be unhappy when you think about this person. But also, since the chariot is clarifying the sun in reverse, it's like you're unhappy about having to move on. I feel like you're making the decision. Let's see. Can I get... One more for the Seven of Cups. Because we got the Four of Pentacles clarifying the Seven of Cups. Yeah. You're confused. You don't know if you should hold back. You don't know if you should take this offer because there's just been too much bad history, bad blood here. This person literally, like, broke your heart. This person had you crying a lot. I feel like had you very depressed. And the reason why the sun is in reverse is because... You wish that this person would have just treated you right. Like, I feel like you wish that this person would have just done you right because things would have been so beautiful. I feel like that's how you feel, that things would have been really beautiful between you if they would have just been real with you and been honest. And I feel like now you're in this empress energy in the beginning of the month and you're really just glowing, exuding power, control in control of your environment very well-rounded with all these circles. And I feel like that's what's attaching or, or bringing this person back to you. And that's why your energy is going to be of temptation. Okay. Yeah. And see, we got the Ten of Pentacles at the back and the Nine of Cups at the bottom. So it's like, wow. And the Ten of Cups right behind that. It's like it's like you're torn, Scorpio, because it's like you want you want this Ten of Pentacles, but if the person who you love or who you want to be with is not treating you fairly, it's like I can I don't need you. You know what I'm saying? Like I can do it by myself and still be happy with my kids and my family. I can take care of myself, see? Okay, so what's the Ten of Wands in the middle of the month for Scorpio? Ooh. Yeah, you're trying to release these burdens. Eight of Swords in reverse. Ooh, yes, you're trying to release these burdens. What's the Eight of Swords in reverse? You're trying to get out of this anxious energy. I feel like you're trying. That's why I feel like you're not going to choose this person. I feel like you're going to hold back. Yeah. See? High Priestess. Because you know, it's like you're not going to... This it's like it's like you're trying to release this person once and for all because I feel like they just keep popping up like zits and you are ready to be done with this situation. You're ready to be done with the burden. You're ready to be done with the stress. You're ready to be you're ready to let go of that load that you've carried because of the situation for so long because you realize through your intuition, through following your intuition, learning more about yourself kind of closing off to people and just observing more about how people act. It's like you've realized your true potential, okay? You've been shown how much power you truly have with this high priestess card, Cancer or Pisces energy, but you've been you you've you've been shown and you're fully aware of your power at this point, Scorpio. You're not going to let anyone just come in and make you feel inadequate with this Eight of Swords in reverse. You're not going to let anybody make you feel anxious or nervous about the future. Because it's like you know it. You're releasing these old burdens. Because it's like, you, yeah, you know that's what you're supposed to do. You, The Page of Pentacles at the back and the Ace of Swords at the bottom. It's like you know what type of commitment that you want. Hierophant here. You know the truth. You know you need to go towards someone new to get the commitment that you want. That even though you love this person, they they might not be able to give you what you want. They, they're just not mentally capable right now or emotionally capable to give you what you need. What's the high priestess? See, the death card. Here you go. 
See, Scorpio, your intuition, you this is you. Your intuition is telling you and and you know for a fact that you're not going to keep being in your head in the middle of the month. You're like, no, fuck this bullshit. I'm not going to allow this year to be the same as last year. I'm moving the fuck on. I know I need to move on. I feel like you're super determined. Yeah, because you've been waiting for this person, three of wands and the seven of pentacles. You've been waiting on this person for a long time and you could have possibly went to visit this person. They could be for, like maybe 45 minutes like further away from your house. But it's like they turned their back on you and they made you wait because they were looking for something better than you. They were waiting for something better to come along or they chose someone waiting for someone else that they felt like would be a better connection. And no matter how much time and effort that you put into it, it's still kind of like they abandoned you in this situation. So it's like you're transforming into this new being, this this. Literally, like every time I see the death card, I feel like it's this phoenix rising from the ashes, moving forward and putting an end to all of that old shit because you know that's what you need to do to have the best possible life for yourself. What's the death card? Yeah, four of wands. I feel like you're ending this relationship. You're ending this this twin flame journey, whatever you want to call it. But it's like, you're moving on to a better, to a real relationship, to, to a situation that is equal. That's what you're moving towards. Someone or something that treats you equally as you treat them. And you're not going to be in this negative energy. What's the eight of, can I get one more for the eight of swords? Wow. You could be cutting off communication, eight of wands. This person definitely could be at a distance. You got two eights now. I also feel like you have like maybe been astral projecting to this person and not realized it. Or they've been doing it to you and it's like you're cutting off the mental connection. With this Eight of Swords in reverse and the Eight of Wands. I feel like you're cutting off this mental connection. What's the Eight of Wands? Yeah, a Page of Cups. And then the Page of Cups is right here. Wow. You are. I feel like you're cutting off the mental connection. You. It's like... It's like you're no longer concerned about talking to this person, being friends with this person, having any type of emotional, mental, spiritual connection, relationship with this person. What's the four of wands? See, the magician, I knew it. Aries or Aquarius. In, oh, Aries or Gemini energy, sorry. I feel like you're just, you're really just manifesting an equal relationship, a fair relationship, a relationship where you're valued. Yeah, and you're moving on. You're going towards, you're realizing that you want something new and going towards that, period. You're trying to date, okay? Because I just saw the Three of Cups. What's this Page of Cups at the end of the month? Because it's like, you know, that's, that's what you have to do, Scorpio. And you're not, see? See? It could be a Capricorn, but you see what I'm saying? The devil, a form of the devil is out here. Three different times. A form, let me say that again. A form of toxicity from the devil type of energy is out here three times. And not only that, but we also saw it when I split the deck. And I feel like this page of cups is this person. And this person is coming to you to try to talk to you. But all you want to do is release the burden. You got the devil energy, you got codependency, and you got temptation, which is the devil card. What's this devil? What's this devil? See? I know it. See? Could be a Capricorn, could be a Taurus. Okay, so we got Capricorn, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, um, Aries, Gemini, Scorpio, Cancer, Libra, Libra, Leo. Can I get one more for the Page of Cups? What is the page? Mm. 
I'm not taking all of these. Two of Wands, Hermit, and the Fool. I am going to take those. This is someone who is very toxic towards you. They either talk to you fucked up or acted fucked up towards you. I feel like the toxicity uh, stems from them not making a decision about you. Could be a Virgo. It's like they refused to make a decision or they did not choose you. They, I feel like this person literally chose somebody else because we saw the three of wands. Like they were waiting on someone else. They kept you waiting. They waited for you to come back around to them with this 10 of wands. Again, you doing all the work. And it's like they want to talk to you now about them going within, them realizing the truth. Seeing now through the fog, see? Realizing what they missed. Maybe they're going to tell you that they were, re they realized that they were bound to this person or codependently attached to another person for money, cash flow, and then the fool card. Aquarius energy, Aries energy. But you got you got four major arcanas right here. You got three right here. And you got four over here. So this I feel like is a true like spiritual lesson, but the higher font is in reverse. The person who could not make a decision about you, the person who could have possibly ghosted you, the person who said they weren't ready for commitment or didn't want a commitment is now trying to come back now with this fool card. And I feel like they want to start a new beginning or they want to try to like start this relationship back up. Let's be friends again. Let's talk about this. I miss you. Man, see, and the strength card is at the back. The tower is at the bottom. Look at all these major arcanas. Temperance is right under that tower. I feel like even in this new beginning, though, this person, I just feel like this is not a very stable person or this is not a very stable situation. It's like this person is unstable, but they try to like control themselves. And I feel like it's going to I feel like with this tower card being here after the fool card was the last one to come. I feel like this new beginning that they're trying to it's like they're trying to change something. They're trying to change the way you view them. They're trying to change the, the way y'all's relationship is, but I just don't see it ending well. Okay, so what's the higher font in reverse? Why is it in reverse? See, another major arcana. Hangman energy. Because someone is either... <sighs> okay, so I feel like this person is going to say that, yes, in the past they didn't want a commitment, but now they've realized because you have this hermit and this hangman energy. That's like a card of enlightenment, seeing things from a different perspective, looking at a situation from all angles. It's like, I feel like they're going to try to tell you that they want to start over and they know they've been inconsistent in the past, but that they've realized they want a new beginning. What's the hangman energy? But they could also be still stuck to, yeah, eight of pentacles. They, they could still be stuck to someone else, but it's like they've realized that they want to work on this or they realized that their work got in the way. Maybe they were codependent on work, like we talked about workaholic. Yeah, five of cups at the back and the strength at the bottom. Like they're sad, like they regret holding back from you, Scorpio. And if anything, they want to be friends. What's this fool card? They want to work on the relationship. Wow. Why is the emperor in reverse here for the fool? The fuck? Wow. So I feel like this person could have been getting a divorce. Maybe that's why they didn't commit. Maybe you found out that they were married already. The justice card is here. So they could be telling you, hey, I've gotten a divorce. I'm no longer a spouse or whatever. Or like, 
they want to begin again, but I just don't get a good energy from the Hierophant reverse and the Emperor in reverse. I just feel like this person is still either controlling or trying to go against the grain here, trying to have their cake and eat it too. And I feel like you know that. King of Cups at the back, Five of Cups at the bottom. But they regret holding back from you. They regret not expressing their love because they had so much love in their heart for you, Scorpio. They still do. They could definitely want a new beginning where they are not so much trying to control the relationship as well. They could tell you, like, you, you can have it your way, like Burger King. I just heard that shit. What's the Hermit card? See, the Six of Wands. Yeah, and it's like, but see, it's like they want to start fresh because when they, I feel like they cut off communication from you or they stop talking to you as much as they used to. They really just kind of like ignored you. And I really, I saw the Six of Wands earlier. I just get this attention whore ass energy. Attention seeker. It's like they, they went ghost from you or they cut off communication because I feel like they wanted you to pay attention to them. Wow, but this is still at the back and the bottom. But I feel like they regret that. They regret it so badly now, but it. I just feel like for you, Scorpio, this person caused so much drama in your life. I really don't feel like you're going to communicate with this person. You're. I feel like you're done because your intuition is telling you that there's something better out there and there's a relationship that's equal reciprocity and balance that you can manifest. And it's like, you know that. So what's the possible outcome? Ooh, see? Oop, see? Could be an Aries. Okay, so we got Aries, Pisces, Aries again, or Aquarius, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Scorpio, Aries again, or Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Leo, Libra, Libra. So this King of Wands, this person was acting like an old school player. This person could have definitely been older than you because we have the emperor in reverse here and now we have the king of wands and we had the king of cups. So I feel like they could have been older than you, Scorpio, and kind of like tried to manipulate you because of their experience or you know how people do when they've been around the block, child. And it's like the out the possible outcome is that, hmm, I feel like you guys are going to be walking away because when the six of swords came out first, I felt an energy of you leaving this behind. There could be another Aries Leo Sag that you're dealing with Scorpio and you're going towards this King of Wands. But I just feel like you're walking away from the, you're leaving the past behind you. For a, for like maybe 5% of you guys, y'all could consider going back to this person. I'm just going to be honest. But I feel like for a majority of you guys, Scorpio, y'all are not dealing with this. See? I don't know, though, because the Empress card could be a mother, a wife, you know, a husband or, you know, a father, whatever you want to call it. But I feel like this person really wants to reconcile with you. And I feel like you may let this person take you out for a drink. Like, you're going to still be calm, cool, and collected, and you may hear them out. Or maybe so, because the car just beeped. But I feel like ultimately you guys are done with the bullshit. So if this person, I feel like there's a 50-50 chance. You could take this person back if they come to you, honestly. And over the course of months, they actually show you while you're dating other people that they are serious in you and serious about you. And I feel like that would be the only time that you would consider taking this person back. Those of you who don't consider taking this person back, I do see you just walking away. But I see some someone from your past coming into your life in January and burdening your stressing out your life. And there's some of you who are just like torn and you really kind of don't know what you're going to do but you're more so leaning to walking away. 
What's the advice for my Scorpios in this situation, guardian angels? What's the advice? Three of Pentacles. And the Two of Swords reversed. I'm just getting, okay, I, at first when I first saw the Three of Pentacles, I'm getting the energy that you need to like focus more on your career, maybe focus on your money because you're about to have a breakthrough financially, okay? Because I see cash flow here. I feel like something is about, the, the fog is about to clear for you and something's going to be clear about how to make money. So I really think that your mind should be focused on that and that is your advice. And don't be indecisive because the two of swords is indecisive energy. Like don't be indecisive about your projects. Yeah, because it's reversed. Like don't refuse to make a decision because if you want to move forward with something in your career, now is the time. That's really what I'm hearing. People see you. People enjoy what you have to offer, what you create. So I definitely feel like the energy is saying like, don't get distracted or be indecisive. Yeah. Be confident in what you're passionate about with this Empress and the Ace of, of Wands. Be confident about your passions and believe in your passions wholeheartedly, like wholeheartedly. Scorpio, your reading is insane. So let's see what this person wants to tell you that they're not telling you. Let's see what the hidden truths are for whoever's going to be in your energy in January. Why are they in your energy, guardian angels, for Scorpio? Why is this person in my Scorpio's energy? Y'all know I got OCD. Okay, that's better. Why is this person in my Scorpio's energy? We both know I am not the one for you, but it was... Upside down. So they feel like you guys both know that y'all are meant to be together. Because it was upside down. And I don't even read these upside down, but the bitch fell upside down. And that was crazy. And I was struggling to read it. So it's like this person feels like they struggle to read you. So that's why they feel like y'all maybe are not meant together. But it's like in their heart, in their emotions, they know that you were the one. I lost myself for a little while. Wow. This person was going through emotional problems. I, I can tell. Because they had codependency issues and they had addiction problems. I want to tell you how I feel. Told you. And at the bottom. And, and that's how I feel like they feel. What I just told you guys. I'm starting to understand our connection at the bottom. I want to feel that way again at the back. Wow, so now it's like they know what you guys came together for. They know what you guys were meant to do, or maybe they know that they were, they know now that they were meant to learn a lesson from you, some type of lesson. Let's see what crystals you guys may need in January. Oh, come on, crystal cards. What you doing? Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I know the video's long, but shit. I give you a lot of good info. What crystal do my Scorpios need in January 2021? Okay, can I get one more? Yeah. So emeralds. I definitely want to get some emeralds. Says emeralds. Ceremonies and celebrations. It's a time of important life passages such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, or anniversaries. So get y'all some emeralds. And I feel like you're going to be celebrating this month. You could be celebrating the money that you're making, okay? In January, it says, Ruby, bless your heart. Reach out for emotional and spiritual support to heal and mend your heart. So I feel like you're going to be very happy in January, but I also feel like you're going to feel pain because of what this person may have put you through. And the fact I feel like that they're popping back up is a test, Scorpio, because it's like, what are you going to do? Are you going to follow your intuition? Shit. Are you going to break this off because that deck just broke real stupid? Or are you going to like give this person another chance? It's really like something that I can't tell you what to do about. It's something that spirit is telling you you have to make a decision about. 
Guardian angels, what angel answer do my Scorpios need for January 2021? Okay, success. See, I told you. And then look at what's at the fucking bottom. Listen to your intuition. So I feel like success is coming to you. You need to listen to your intuition and not be indecisive, okay? Oh, there's something better. God dang, Scorpio. There's something better at the back. It's like, listen to your intuition because you already know there's something better. I feel like you already know that. And that's why I said, I feel like, I don't know what you guys are going to do because I feel like you're going to hear this person out. And I feel like you are going to be tempted because the temptation card is here. But I feel like at the end of the day, you know that this person had you bound to them in a very unhealthy way. And you know that this person disrupted a lot of your life. So I really feel like you're not going to be just gung-ho about jumping back into some shit with them. So what spell do my Scorpios need to put themselves under in January 2021 to help them get through this? Magical powers, magician. Says, I weave and clear, I cast and know. Magic secrets to me now show. Please use discretion when casting spells, but... Yeah, I feel like, yeah, inspiration is at the bottom, passion is at the back. So I feel like you guys are going to be going towards your advice, which is the career. You're going towards the creative endeavor that you see bringing you money. Because it's like, this motherfucker didn't make you no money. They probably cost you money and time that you could have been spending on growing yourself. So... Scorpio, I hope this has helped you guys. I love y'all so very much. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Stick to the positivity today and every day. Be blessed. And don't let none of these motherfuckers steal your joy. Mwah. Bye.